Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. How are you guys? Yes, how are you guys? I hope you like this scenery. Look at this gorgeous, gorgeous trees are reaching out and they're reaching up to the sun. Isn't that nice? Yeah, I was telling Cindy, this this is just as beautiful as the Carolinas are because you know, I, I lived in the Carolinas for over 10 years, uh, both north and south, and love the area. But, you know, between uh, Mississippi, Louisiana, and Arkansas, it feels so much like well, home to me. It feels very, very similar as far as the, the natural beauty. Mm -hmm. Yep, very warm, very nice, very inviting, lots of green. We love it. So, we want to talk about the solar flash. We also want to talk about, well, you know, uh, things that can be put into the body, so to speak. Things that can be put into the body that might interfere with ascension. And we had the question, I think it was Sylvia, who Sylvia comments on every, every video. Hi, Sylvia. Hi, Sylvia. And she wanted to know my opinion on some things that can go in the body that a lot of the population are actually doing right now. You know, what my opinion was on it, our opinion was on it. And I just said, do you have to really ask? Um, I'm somebody that... I was doing some construction, and I think it was only a couple years ago, you know, stepped on a rusty nail, and I wouldn't take that thing into my body that they were recommending. And I knew I had stepped on a rusty nail at that point, and that was fine, you know, because we always use alternatives. Uh, I think that what is accepted as the norm in this matrix that we find ourselves in, in my humble opinion, is usually not the best, uh, it's not in our best interest all the time, if hardly ever, it's just my opinion. Right, there is, you know, everybody has to make the decision for themselves, but you have to be, I think it's fair to be awakened and then make the decision for yourself, because then you really truly know what the decision is based off of not just what you're hearing through mainstream I mean that's so critical to understand the illusion so you can make proper decisions for yourself and because they are very personal and even some people after they do understand the illusion they might still decide to do that and, and that's okay you know at least you're making it with an aware mind right so there are some things that people are putting in their body in this time at this time and they're not consuming, so you know we have to be careful how we word things. Um, that to me, you know, there's absolutely no way I would, no way. Um, even, even you know, if I was faced with a F I R I N G S Q U A D, absolutely no way under any circumstances. And that's my opinion, um, because let's talk about DNA. You know, what's happening right now. As we've talked about, the sun is like a neural transmitter. It's a relay. And I believe it's a relay that comes directly from source. Uh, the true source, the true God with the big G. That which cannot be named, as we would speak of it with the Tao. For anything that can't be named is limited. And we're going to get into that in the next video again. Uh, a little bit different take. Um, so... The sun is bringing us information for these times. There's a reason why BG, uh, and you guys know, of MS fame, as well as other fame, wants to block out the sun. There's a reason why we see artificially flavored things in the sky all the time. And a big part of it is blocking information from Source God, with the big G, to us and every living creature on this planet. Well, it does take me back to this theory I heard. It, it's called the Luciferian experiment to try to get us as separated as possible from source, from the all, and, you know, make us do things on our own. So I'm not sure if it's an experiment. I'm not sure what it is. I just know it's wrong, and I, I don't want to take part in it. And, you know, she brought up that word, and we were listening to R. Wayne, R. Wayne Steiger, who has made comments on this channel before, and I've emailed with him. 
uh, in the past as he's somebody that has become illumined uh, by the light of Gnosis from what his previous belief set was. And again, it, it takes really going in depth to understand the complexities of the greatest red herring, which is going to be another video upcoming, uh, that mankind has been subjected to. And so again, like Lucifer comes from the Latin lus, which is light, which is information. And, you know, he did a great job explaining in a video recently how Lucifer is completely, it's just a, a complete misunderstanding. There is no Lucifer. There really isn't. If you go directly into the Hebrew, you'll find out there isn't a Lucifer. It's only in Isaiah, and it's a mistranslation that's given to us probably purposefully from Jerome back in the 5th century AD. This is the type of thing that becomes so deeply ingrained in people's minds that they can't conceive of it. And it's part of this matrix that they have us in, this spell. This And people have brought up God's spell because that's really what it is. It's a spell. And as we've talked about before, the whole purpose of Yeshua, the one called uh, Jesus, in the Latinized version of his name, was basically to teach us about how the universe works and about ascension, how we can escape this matrix that we find ourselves in. So, getting back to what we were talking about, the sun is going to, at some point in time, send a flash that will fry everything. And what Cindy got from the guides was that it will fry the whole AI grid that we find ourselves in right now. Right. It's going to finally bring us some separation and some peace from what's been happening, what they've been doing to us, you know, as far as integrating us with the artificial flavors and trying to keep us separated from source and see how far they can separate us from source. I think it's just um, a matter of time uh, before things really start falling apart and then we are going to see a solar flash and it is has everything to do with evolution. Yeah, and we need it because it, it will eliminate the, the whole grid that we find ourselves in. It'll be gone because it won't survive. And we had talked about different beings too. There's so much I want to get across to you guys here. As we had just crossed the mighty Mississippi, um, they will eliminate things that we might call a golem, a thought form. Many of the beings that plague, plague humanity and other forms of life on this plane of existence are actually thought forms created by the dark side, so to speak. The Draco reptilian gray Anunnaki um, structure that serves this AI uh, dragon entity, so to speak, which again, that AI entity it may be super intelligent, amazing, but it doesn't have source within it. Uh, as, as this is the same case with these golem type creatures, the thought form type creatures which can be created. We talked about how you could put your hands 6 to 12 inches apart, start to draw in life force, create an orb, uh, a ball of pure life force energy, give it an attention, you know, to go let my sister know I'm okay and return and be reabsorbed into me. And you want to do stuff like that. You don't want to let it go off on its own because you'll be responsible karmically for it, whatever it does. Um, so you always want to take it back and reabsorb it into you. Or you could <coughs> basically uh, reabsorb it back into the earth itself. Uh, you know, either way would be fine, but you know, taking it back into you is an accepted practice. Yes, indeed. Um, this is something that you can do, and it's something that the dark forces have known about, so they've made quite a few of these things, trying to get things um, rolling in their direction, you know, get things going the way they want them to go in their favor. But the thing is, with the solar flash, I, I am 
showing that it's going to remove everything except for those that have the original source um, light in them. And when it comes to us, it's going to upgrade us. It's going to, it's, it's part of evolution. It, it's part of Earth's beautiful cycle. Just like we all go through these cycles of, of life, you know, we have the early our birth and then we have our springtime and then our summertime and then our adulthood you know it kind of goes in a cycle well earth is coming into her own or elderly adulthood however you want to put it but it's going to this flesh has everything to do with evolution um and it is going to hurt people though that's the, that's the thing you need to be as pure as possible there's many different things that can make this a difficult transition so, <clears throat> many of these dark parasitic beings, these phantasms of sort, will be gone. They won't be able to withstand this flesh. So they'll be gone and no longer be able to bother us. So that is a big, huge blessing. But recognize that DNA is basically like a computer program, very much like a computer program. And it's not just on the 3D level. DNA is like an ongoing computer program and it extends out into our energy bodies as well so if you are taking into your body some things which are of a dark nature and it could be as simple as gmo foods you know high fructose corn syrup things along those lines if that's definitely going to lower your vibration even on the other side even when the physical body is gone there will still be an energetic residue on the energy body. I've shared with you guys that I had a vision of being in this field and it's from a past life and all of a sudden you know there's somebody behind me. I feel it was a battlefield and I don't see who it is but somebody runs me through with a sword through my left kidney and Cindy's always seen while I'm doing my standing meditation the body elementals always work on that left kidney and she could actually see there's still an energetic scar on my energy body from a lifetime that was over 500 years ago um, which coincidentally was as a Templar so it's interesting but we are affected we are an ongoing program so to speak so recognize that now there's certain substances which are not being consumed but being taken into the body that will affect your energy body and will perhaps put punch holes in your energy body even after you leave the physical body. Right, making it more difficult for ascension and I think it's important to remember that we're living this life for the next life. So and it kind of revolves around them wanting to keep us down in the 3D so they can use us again and again and again. And our whole purpose in this life is to be um, ascending, going up. So even if we do leave these bodies, we have the ability to go up in, into 5D. So you could view it in a kind of morbid way in some ways. You can, you can know it's a farmer that has a herd of cows or sheep or whatever. And he knows there's times coming that he's going to have to call the herd ahead of time. So he might as well do it at a time and in a way that he can make the most use of it and, you know, basically part them out into fillets and go ahead and then make some profit on it, even though the herd may not be fully ripe, so to speak. We could view it as this 3D existence that we're in now where we're heading up, you know, past um, where we've been and going up towards 5D. And if they could put chains on us so to speak and, and okay think about what you're putting in your body could act to enlighten you make you light as a feather as we look in the uh, Egyptian book of the dead and you know have uh, our souls being weighed against a feather or heavy chains being pulled on you that will tie you back down to a 3d experience perhaps not on this planet because this planet's not going to be 3D forever, but on a different planet that, again, is under the same draconian system. Exactly. So they have their plans, and it's really important we remember that we need to make our own plans because they're not going to look out for us. They're only looking out for us for their best interest, just like if you were that farmer with 
those cattle, you know, the only reason he's going to stop a wolf from attacking is because the wolf is going to take his bread and butter away. Not because he's a good man. Yes. You know, and nothing against farmers out there. We each have to make our own decisions where we are on this path. Um, but that is basically what's going on. Because, again, they, they view us as a resource, you know, as, you know, a herd, so to speak. And we, we know about the Good Shepherd, right? I mean, they've given us so many different analogies uh, to, to see into what's really going on here. So, you know, again, yeah, what's, what's my, act, my answer what, and how I feel about things going into this, again, holy temple, because that's what your body is, of source. Each one of us has source in us. And so, you know, the body is a holy temple for source. And Source, you know, is basically having a myriad of countless different experiences through all different lenses. And each lens is, is the individual. Right, exactly. So there's so many things to be experienced. And we want to have the freedom and the honesty and the will to experience all these things in every flavor possible. We don't want that to be controlled by an outside source just because they have some knowledge and information about how how things are put together that doesn't give them the right to manipulate our decisions for us exactly so again we have to reclaim our power and we get that the solar flash is a ways off um, I know a lot of you guys are familiar with Douglas Vote, Die Hold Foundation and I believe he has 2046 as his date now, he bases everything on the Bible, and I think that there's more uh, that has been twisted and perverted, distorted in the Bible than, you know, in the modern form that we have now, uh, than is clear and simple and true. So, you know, we, we don't disagree in that we do feel that it's at least a several decades out before the flash comes. And I know uh, Corey Good, David Wilcock, they've given dates too. Maybe not David, but, but I think Corey has given dates, and David's talked about Corey's dates, uh, which I know initially I think were uh, maybe like 2017, I think he was saying at first, and then backed it up to around now, and then backed it up again. And correct me if I'm wrong, because I, I mean, don't really follow it. Um, and I, we don't watch many, many people's uh you know, channels, but, you know, I think that they're thinking now more 2030, but, but I think we're looking that's probably even a little mm -hmm. bit past that. Right. When I get these impressions, um, I get feelings of a very long time. <laughs> so, you know, it, it, it could be 30 years, could be 50 years, but I'm going to say right, right around there, 50, less than 50. Um, but we, you know, reality doesn't really have time so it's very difficult when you get an impression of a, a span of information it's hard to put a time on it but that's about what it feels like if I had to explain that's the best I can do. We're talking decades basically I know I think it's Terrell Blackstar uh, some of you guys were men mentioning and he was thinking it's just a couple of years away like 2024 2022 to 2024 um, one of the things, reasons why we're not so fearful about where we are is that we feel like the big earth changes while they're underway. They're still, they're still a ways away, too. Um, and with the lockdown, with the, all the geopolitical stuff going on, um, we felt that's really what's right in your face. And, you know, so we spent a lot of time in Mississippi and Texas, which are states that... Um, have sort of taken their freedom back, so to speak, and others are as well, and Oklahoma too. Um, so, you know, there's different hurdles to go over, and right now we're still in that frame of time where personal liberties um, are one of the first things to keep in mind, even more than the earth changes right now. Um, so thus, you know, we want to be somewhere where we could grow our own food for the most part and kind of, you know, be tucked away in a spot that would be good for them. Mm -hmm. 
Most definitely. So when this solar flash does hit, it is going to knock people on their bums. You know, I'm getting shown this cartoon picture of people actually on their butts um, because it is going to permeate. It's going to permeate the energy body. It's going to permeate the body. And the more pure you are, like physically, the easier it's going to be on you. There's, there, It's going to be very, very difficult if people are um, saturated in a lot of junk foods and and things that they shouldn't really be getting into. It's going to be hard on the body. So that's why we want to be in the purest form possible and we want to have the right to live our lives and have be treated the way we want to be treated. We don't want anybody deciding what goes into our body and what doesn't. Yeah, so, you know, and that, that goes with things that you consume, especially for things that you don't consume. Exactly. So hopefully we've brought you guys some good information and some nuggets of, of wisdom that might help you and I hope you enjoyed the ride with us. Yeah, thanks for your support on Ko-Fi and Patreon. We, we can't do it without you guys on there as you know, this the attacks because of what we talk about um, continue. You know, so like e Arts uh, again, you know, they've shriveled that down to where they're trying to make it so we can't survive you know basically they, they're trying to starve us out um which is exactly part of their plan but you know we know it and we'll keep pushing forward and uh if you guys need to make an appointment it's evolutionary energy arts at gmail or eearts at protonmail.com and we have not been able to get anything up on bitchu um there's something going on with bitchu where every time i go to upload something it now it's not taking it at all i reached out to them before uh because it'll take me three three tries to get a video uploaded typically on BitChute, and i think they're under their own attack too mm-hmm. yeah so we truly do appreciate your support um your patience and all of the things that you guys are doing for us while we kind of try to get organized <laughs> So we're just really grateful for each and every one of you. Thank you. God bless and namaste. God bless. Namaste, guys.